Number one, the photographer, aka the social media junkie. At every car show, meet, or event you go to, there's always that one teenager with a $2,000 plus camera set. This guy can be found lugging around a heavy duffel bag wherever he goes. You can be sure this youngster is capturing some of the best angles of every car imaginable. On top of his fantastic photography, he carries around stickers of his Facebook or Instagram page. Once on his page, you'll notice and stumble across crazy amounts of photos containing either a particular car or an entire segment of car culture. Number two, the know-it-all, AKA the younger wise old man. Before you get all mad at me with the negative connotation that the idiom know-it-all carries, hear me out. In this context, I'm talking about the future wise old man. If you haven't watched my first video regarding types of American car guys you'll meet, check that video out. Anyways, back to the know-it-all kiddo. This youngling is like a data warehouse for cars. Ask them anything and everything regarding a specific car or genre or specialty, and they'll spew more facts to you than Wikipedia and dedicated forums combined. Admittedly, I wish there were more teenagers like this who had an immense passion for cars. I especially appreciate those who carry a wealth of knowledge and they don't talk down to others. I've had a handful of pleasant experiences where I've learned quite a bit about the hatchback segment from a few youngsters who were more than happy to talk my ear off about their Mazda Speed 3. Number three, the trash talker. Ah, my favorite teen. Doesn't matter what car they own, they go to car shows for one and only one reason, to belittle others. Generally speaking, they almost never come out if they're alone. However, if they're in a big group, you can bet my ass they'll spew insults left and right about anyone's car that differs even the slightest from their taste. Whether it's laughing at cars with body kits, automatics, or naturally aspirated engines, they're pretty narrow-minded. Sometimes there's just no way to garner their respect even if you have a car that is, without a doubt, far superior to theirs in every way possible, they'll find a way to insult your car. Personal advice to y'all, if you or your car gets trash talk, just straight up ignore the kids and make them feel awkward. Give them no eye contact and stand around with a power pose. Or just talk to someone else and pretend like they're irrelevant. And don't take anything they say personally. Even though we love our babies as much as ourselves, don't let their insults get to your head. Number four, the toucher. Oh. My. God. To me, this guy is more annoying than the trash talker. On some occasions, you can find these guys trying to open your doors so that they can sit inside your car or to check out whatever your interior looks like. They may also be leaning too far forward over your car's hood to examine any aftermarket components or sitting on your car to take a quick pic for Instagram. Please, for those of you who do this, be courteous to other people's cars. I'd hate to see scratches on my car, so I reciprocate that courteous behavior when I check out other people's cars. Number five, the lonely enthusiast, AKA the newbie. Going to a meet or show by yourself for the first time can sometimes be intimidating, especially if your goal is to converse with others. Piece of advice, engage in conversations with people one-on-one -on -one about their cars. Usually they'll be happy to talk to you Everyone starts somewhere, so don't feel obligated to know everything about cars, let alone even your car. Just approach someone and be willing to learn. Number six, the show off. Not much to say here, although very rare, this youngster usually comes from a wealthy family. They go to car shows simply to show off their latest toy and often don't engage in conversation with anyone else outside a 10 foot radius of their car. Unsurprisingly, they don't even know the specs of their car. They just care that other people care. Number seven, the complimenter. This is the nice guy of the car world. You can find him walking around saying something nice about everyone's car. He's easy to get along with and their ego is non-existent. To those of you that are friendly, stay that way my friends and don't let hate ever change you. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. 
In the comments section below, please let me know what kind of teenager you are or what teenagers you most encounter at car meets. Anyways, please stay tuned for more videos just like this. And until next time, peace out.